Welcome to Waypoint Connect, and it's my pleasure to welcome Dani Mathieu to our episode. Dani, welcome. Hello, Dirk. <laughs> you need no introduction. <laughs> the, the camera is the space for you, even though you're more well-known for, for theater and what you do on stage. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. So just give us a bit of background about you. Yes, I, I, I must say I really missed the stage. And I, and I realize how much I missed the stage uh, the f last few weeks while we oh. were rehearsing on a new stage production. But yeah, it started when I was very little. Mm. I always wanted to do drama, study drama, be an actor. That was what was it on my mind since primary school. And then in, in, um, in matric, in September of my matric year, the Lord called me into theology, into mm. go study theology into ministry. And uh, So even though you had the strong calling for theater, drama, yeah then you realize God's calling you into ministry. Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, I don't think I have the time to explain the whole thing, yeah. how the Lord called me, but, <laughs> I, but I, I knew for certain yes. uh, this is a calling from the Lord. He wants me in ministry. Mm -hmm. and, and at that stage, ministry was becoming a duomini. Yeah. Um, so you study for seven years theology, and then you become a duomini. That, that was it's, the only ministry that, yeah, that was it, available. It was binary. Was no, you're yeah. either not in ministry or you're a minister. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. <laughs> which is that's, wrong. Guys, which is we just want to make it yes. clear. It's wrong. It's not supposed to be like it's that. It's not supposed <laughs> to be like that. So, so I studied for seven years, and I, I got my degrees and everything in theology. And, and, and during that time, I said to the Lord, because I believed... Mm. Um, that the Lord doesn't want me to act anymore okay. because um, I couldn't reconcile my calling mm. as a minister then yeah. with being the an passion. actor on stage yeah. with my passion. So, so I said to the Lord, okay, that was it. Mm. I'm not going to. If this is what you want from want, me, I'm willing to I'm lay willing that to, down. to lay it mm. down. And then seven years later, the Lord showed me, but um, I'm glad that you did that, but that was not really what I wanted from you. I just want you to show me that, I, that you're willing to lay it yeah. down. But I've given you the talent, so I want to use you. Okay. And I want to use that talent to tell stories that glorify mm. me and, and, and make me smile. So, yeah. so my mission in life is to tell stories that will make God smile. So. And, and I just want to say, you really absolutely do have a talent for it. When you're on stage, you just draw attention to you. I know other people, and, and I would include myself there, we need to work hard to keep people's attention. But as soon as you're on the stage because of your presence, you just draw people's attention. So the, it really is a talent for you, and it's something that comes natural. Yes, I'm actually uh, an introvert, mm. a shy person. Um, so, but, but put me on stage in front of thousands, then I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so and, and for the past 21 years now, I've been in a full-time drama ministry. Uh, I, I uh, resigned from my position at the church as a minister, mm. and um, I went into drama ministry. Didn't know exactly what to do and, and how to do it. I didn't have any, anybody to, to go to and say, yeah. you, you're doing it, tell yeah. me a how bit more, do how do you do it? <laughs> um, so I had to f literally feel and pray my way through. Mm. And uh, yeah, and, and the Lord was really faithful, and He is faithful, and um, and so so that's what I've been doing now for the past 21 years. Mm. But then, of course, last year 2020 happened, and um, we did a, a children's production in in the Savoy Theatre in Port Elizabeth. Okay. That was in February of last year, and we've just finished that, and we were were supposed to go tour with that. Um, right. Yeah, and then. Everything shut down. Came to a standstill. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was, it was strange because I was used to going to theatres. I was used to going to schools. Used to going to um, churches mm. uh, with various different shows. And and sometimes, uh, if I go to a church, I will bring the message and I will do a skit or something with yeah. that or a puppet show or um, and the same with schools and. And I couldn't visit. I couldn't go to schools. I couldn't mm. go to churches. You know yourself, the churches yeah. were even closed. And theaters were closed up, up until last month. <laughs> so, Correct. 
Yeah. So how, how did that then impact how you saw yourself and stepping into the space of using your passion and utilizing that? How did that impact you? And I, yeah, I, I must be honest, it was very difficult because I didn't know what to do. It was like, okay, I've worked out, this is my ministry, this is how it works, this is my daily routine or my weekly mm. or monthly routine, and suddenly I couldn't do any of it. And, and, and with that, I didn't add any income. Mm. So, so I prayed about it, um, and the Lord said to me, um, one morning early I woke up, and the Lord didn't speak in an audible voice, but I, yeah. I just had this vision, YouTube. I just could see in my mind uh, the YouTube logo, yeah. start a YouTube channel. So I went onto the internet. How do you start a YouTube so channel? You went, you you went to Google. And you're I like, went to Google, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do I start a YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, because I didn't know. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I, then I realized I actually had a YouTube channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> you rediscovered your past. And there were two videos on there <laughs> that I posted about five years ago. So, um, so then I, uh, and I started, okay, I'm, I'm going to start uh, with different things. I'm going to start putting messages on try to grab hold of old skits of mine that mm. was filmed. Dust them off. <laughs> dust them off. Unfortunately, the quality wasn't that mm. good um, because the past five years, um, the, the quality of cameras technology, and, and uh, technologies wasn't there. have just skyrocketed. So Your cell phone has got better quality than the cameras that you paid huge amounts of money I, for I to record you these. A cell phone these days, uh, just a, yeah. a normal cell phone, the quality that, that it can shoot is better than a film camera that <laughs> costs over a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, so that is that is the difference. But yeah, so so I, I do different things on my channel, but mostly I speak. So I put a video out at least mm. once a week. So um, I've been. And, doing, and what's your channel called? It's Obit Studios. Okay. So so people can just go onto YouTube and. Uh, Google Obed Studios and they will get OBED 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 yes mm. and the Obed um, means a servant ministries and it comes from the name of the son that was born for Ruth and Boaz mm. uh, because uh, that was my first musical that I was commissioned to write after I started uh, with my um, drama ministry Good. Um, when I when I said I didn't know what to do and where to go and then somebody asked me come write a musical for us mm. and it must be about Ruth yes. and and it was this beautiful love story and, and I wrote it and I enjoyed it and I since then um, yeah you know, we, we we had three different runs with different costs mm. since then um, but but the son of Ruth and Boaz was Obed, Obed. Whose, whose name means servant mm. and he was born in Bethlehem uh, the city of bread uh, where the bread of life was the born. greatest servant yes. ever was born, Jesus Christ. So, so that's, that's where the Obed comes from. Yeah. And now currently you're working on something new. Yes, yes. <laughs> How exciting is that? And it's, and it's like you said, you don't know what you've missed until you start doing it. Yes, yes. So you don't know how much you've missed church until you start going back. So, but let's leave that point there for now. <laughs> What's this new project that you're working on? So it's an Afrikaans comedy. It's called Afrikaners is Plezierig. Okay. It's uh, fun and uh, yeah, just a lot of fun and laughter. And I can say that with an honest heart, heart mm. because I didn't write the script. Okay. Mostly I write the scripts, mm. but this one I didn't write. I just um, sort of uh, worked on it a bit. But it's, um, it's, a, it's a funny script mm. and it's, it's a nice story. It's a romantic story um, and it, it plays out in... A rom -com. Yes, romantic a rom comedy. Com it's a romantic <laughs> comedy with a very big twist. <laughs> <laughs> Any big Hollywood names in your in your show? <laughs> yes, yes. We do have Tian Spies. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. And we have Anke Stapost. Okay. And we have Twakis Tway. So big names. Yeah. So all of them are coming back okay. after two years. <laughs> Of stage. forced retirement. <laughs> After forced retirement, <laughs> they, oh, they're all back. Uh, so it's a romantic comedy with a big twist, and it's it it um, yeah. This it's set in 1971. Okay. So it's 50 years ago. So those of you that's 
not 50 years, <laughs> 50 years and young, you won't know about it, but, uh, but I actually lived through it. So it's a, it's, it's a period drama. <coughs> it's a pe <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a period <laughs> drama. But people are welcome to, to dress up okay. in 70s clothes. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and we will Just have, have fun we, we while will the cast have, have yeah. fun with, Be with the show. Because we're going to do it at Waypoint Theatre. At the community centre. Yeah. yeah, in the community centre there. And, and that's also uh, amazing because it's the first production, production, production for the there, community yes. that, that yeah. runs out in the facility, yeah. which is fantastic. What are the dates for, for your production? We start on the 8th, 8th of, December. of December, yes, and we run till the 17th. But we don't have a show on the Sunday and on the Monday. Right. Yeah. And Just how do for people to stop laughing so they can... <laughs> <laughs> rest, recover. Rest, yeah, rest and recover. <laughs> and repeat. Yeah. And how do people book tickets? They book on Quicket. Um, so they go on Quicket and then they, I suppose if you Google Quicket you will get there, but, but look out for the um, Quicket uh, link uh, on Waypoint. On social and on media. And, and on, yeah, it will be on social media. And people and can Facebook. actually, if they've subscribed or partnered with any Waypoint uh, event, then yes. that event will be listed there. So either through the Waypoint events, find it, or through searching for yes. Afrikaners is Plesirig, else, yeah, yeah. then they'll find it yeah, there. Yeah, if they look for Afrikaners mm. is Plesirig. Because not a lot will it. come up when you search that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that only that will come up. <laughs> so so it's, 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 there's music in the show. There's, so who's, there's the, who's the show for? Who, who would we want to invite to that? Um... Well, it's 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 children friendly, but right. it's not for so, children. So the whole family, the whole family you can, can bring come. your kids you, you with. Won't, you won't be um, embarrassed. Embarrassed, mm. yeah, that's the word. You won't be embarrassed uh, trying to hide your head underneath the table. <laughs> because of some other inappropriate to, yeah, yes, uh, joke inappropriate, that was made. But it's a romantic comedy, so it's, okay. it's yeah. So yeah, anybody who's ever been in love, it's for you and anybody who enjoys music. There's a lot of music in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, guys, there you have it. If you've been wondering, what am I going to do from the 9th to the 18th? That's <laughs> one show that you can watch at least four times. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to, to come and join us for that. Go check that link on, on Quicket. Invite your friends. Take your family. And it'd be great to, to have you here at the venue. And, and Donnie, it's such a great... Uh, exciting event to look forward to uh, being part of your productions and having watched your productions I know it's going to be great I just hope we don't get stage fright <laughs> after so long, after so long. <laughs> we got stage apparently it's like riding a bicycle I hope so I hope, so. <laughs> I hope for your sake so <laughs> just one last thing uh, the, the t we sit in, in like, like at tables people okay. will sit at tables and so they, they're welcome to bring their food and their drinks and there will be a coffee shop that's open fantastic here at the awesome donnie thank you very much thank you for your time i really appreciate it thanks Dick. guys go check out donnie's channel subscribe like follow make that thing go viral <laughs> <laughs> of eight million viewers please go <laughs> all of you and guys remember have a great week